is saying, and this is what he's saying, that you cannot believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. You cannot believe that he's the only way. And it means this is a litmus test for you to run for office. Article 6 of the Constitution right. prohibits a religious test That's right. for public office. That's right. And this is saying that you cannot have this job. He said this makes you basically unacceptable. Yeah. What, is that what you got from that? Yes. And what Bernie Sanders was doing is exactly what I was saying, and then we saw the clip of Governor Huckabee saying. It is an attempt to destroy the truth of what this nation stands for. You just read right from the Constitution, no religious test, yet Bernie Sanders puts a religious test and said, well, because you believe Christian beliefs, you, you're, you're ineligible to serve in America. That's not what this country is about. Excuse me. 90% of our founding fathers were Christians and or at least uh, Bible-believing uh, men who wanted this nation founded upon the Word of God with the Judeo-Christian concept, not a Muslim concept, not a Buddhist concept, not a Hindu concept, not an atheist concept, but with a Judeo-Christian biblical concept of who we are. Bernie Sanders said that's not who we are. He applied a religious test. He just broke the law, but nobody's going to say anything about it. So if you find yourself in a position like this gentleman was before Bernie Sanders and you're being asked these kinds of questions, this is something I use all the time. I'm very blessed to be in the media a lot, do a lot of radio interviews, etc. And people ask me stuff like this. I mean, I get grilled like this. And here's how I do it unashamedly. The first thing I say is, first, let me make this clear. I am a Christian, so I come from a biblical worldview. And so I say, I don't know, apparently you come from a secular worldview or an Islamic worldview or whatever, and, and you have a right to do that in America. I have a right to come from a biblical worldview. So you're asking me, do I think that Muslims, Jews, Hindus, Buddhists, atheists, unbelievers, that they need Jesus Christ as Savior too? That's what you're asking me. I come from a biblical worldview. I can tell you what the Word of God says. Acts 4.12, salvation is found in no one else. There's no other name given among men under heaven whereby you must be saved but the name of Jesus. Now, that's what the Bible says. Right. I can tell you what 1 John what chapter God? 5, verse 11 says. He who has not the Son has not the Father and has not the life. And, I, and so, sir, that's my answer because I come from a biblical worldview. I'm sure you have a different answer, sir, because you come from a different worldview. And in America, we get to have those differences of opinions and nobody goes to jail today. And I get to serve in a government position with my view. You get to serve in a government position with your view because in our government positions, it's illegal for us to impose our views upon the people that we serve. Yeah. That's how America works. Yeah. That's how the Constitution that you say you hate, that's how it's set up.